The number one question I get asked by my clients is, how did I get into tattooing? So I decided to make this video to tell my story. My tattoo journey started in 2012, but my journey with art in general and being a creative started when I was a kid. I was always drawing, painting, making things. My name's Lucy Brown. I'm a handbook tattoo artist from the UK. Wild woman with Viking blood, wine lover, horse mother, and uh, self-confessed crazy cat lady. My tattoo journey started in Portugal and I met a girl who was doing hand poke, just for fun. And we did a trade. I gave her a piece of my artwork as payment for a tattoo that she did on my finger. She inspired me to tattoo myself. I just thought it would be fun. I wasn't thinking that it was going to turn into my full-time job. From the moment I picked up a needle and started tattooing myself, it didn't take very long until I was tattooing someone else's skin. I had a friend who was also traveling in Portugal. She decided she wanted a hummingbird about the size of your hand on her shoulder blade. I'd be forever grateful to that friend for trusting me so much with her skin. That was the tattoo that started it all, along with another larger piece that I tattooed on a guy's back. Both those pieces I posted on my Facebook page, which was just for my artwork at that point and it didn't take long before I started getting messages from people asking uh, when they could book in with me. I've never used a machine. And I don't plan on starting anytime soon. It feels to me like doing it by hand is ancient. Tattoos are part of our ancestral history. Pretty much every tribe that has ever existed has evidence of some form of tattooing or other body modification. I think that's why doing it by hand feels so right to me. I can't really imagine having a machine in my hand between myself and the other person. I feel like I'm connecting to my ancestors in some way whenever I'm tattooing because it definitely feels like it's something that's in my DNA. I feel that getting a tattoo is is a ritualistic experience and therefore I treat it as such. Even if it's your first tattoo or your tenth tattoo, I'm still going to treat you the same. It's still going to be a special experience and I aim to make it as memorable as possible. To experience such a, a ritual in this space is very, very special. And the view, well, you just have to come and see for yourself. If someone had told me 10 years ago that I would end up doing this for a job, living in the most amazing place, like with a studio with the most amazing view, then I probably would have wondered what they'd smoked that morning. But I'm very grateful to be where I am now. So happy that it's my creativity that has got me to this point. And following my heart, taking some chances, flinging myself into the unknown, I'm so grateful to all the clients who pass through Wild Spirit and through any other place where I'm tattooing for trusting me with their skin. I think it's the ultimate compliment for an artist to have someone say, hey, I love your art, put it on me forever. <laughs>
Back in the beginning, I thought it would be really cool to travel the whole world and tattoo someone from every country. I soon realised that's quite expensive and exhausting. But now I'm really lucky because I'm working from a place where pretty much the whole world passes through anyway. So that wish came true. I have a favourite quote from Joseph Campbell. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors for you where there were only walls. Follow your dreams, they know the way. I've certainly done a lot of dreaming and most of those have come true. Yeah, life's pretty magical. I'm really excited to see what happens next. <laughs>